Hi everybody. Welcome, welcome. How are you all? I can't believe we're on this day already. Time has flown. Just getting everything set up so I can see you all. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to your questions answered. How is everybody feeling today? Let me know as you're jumping on. Are you feeling good? Let me know in the comments as everybody is making their way and finding us. It's time to find the chat. There we go. We found the chat. Awesome. All righty. Good afternoon. Ah, oh, so happy to see you here. Welcome. Welcome. Feeling amazing. That's what I like to hear. Fabulous. So do say hello, everybody. And of course, if you're watching the replay, do hashtag replay so that I can come back and I can say hi to you as well. So welcome to your questions are answered. So just as a bit of a recap, we've covered lots this week. We've covered the art of up-leveling your money consciousness and that the secret is in your identity and that there's two parts to a successful breakthrough. There is the breakthrough and the up-level. And we've introduced you to the Helix Method, which is our energy psychology modality to help you change your reality fast. We've covered the principles of reality creation, three secrets in unlock, unlocking reality creation. So the illusion of self-sabotage, taking full energetic responsibility by flipping the script and how we can unlock the subconscious mind to reveal the hidden resistances, emotions, beliefs, all the things that have been holding us back and channeling higher realms of consciousness for your money breakthrough. So that's where you received a, a Akashic Record activation. And it has just been so wonderful seeing what came through for you all. Thank you all so much for your messages. Um, I am working my way through my DMs. So um, I will get back to you if you've messaged me and I haven't got back to you yet this afternoon. And uh, I've had so many people reaching out about the program. So, so excited um, for those of you that are ready to step forward. And uh, we will be diving in shortly to answering any questions you have about the programs as well. So we'll take care of that for you. Yesterday, we talked about mastering the energetics of momentum for your up level and how you maintain a state of flow. So you're sending out a congruent message in your human Wi-Fi, because with every thought, emotion, experience, it's all held in your human Wi-Fi and, and, man and you're manifesting from your identity. It's all making up part of that, like, your identity. And by bringing all of your energy into a flow state and changing your relationship with money, transmuting the hidden blocks so you aren't trans transmitting them out into the universe, clearing the unknown resistance, the unknown energy reversals. It's all key. And using our Helix Method manifesting rituals daily, this will do this. You will be sending out a congruent message to the universe, raising your vibration, changing your identity and stepping into and really embodying. This is the key thing, embodying your future self. And it truly is by being able to clear all the, because we know some of the stuff, don't we? <laughs> but there's this whole load of unknown resistances that are um, beneath that line of our vision that are in a line with our, our current identity and the past traumas that we're holding from this life. And you know, when we free up all that stickiness, anything that isn't in resonance with what we desire, um, then we're, we're, we're moving ourselves into becoming more in resonance. And being able to really hold that belief and remember you'll see it and have it when you believe it. You've just got that faith and certainty. And this is why expanding our money consciousness and identity is just critical for our alignment to wealth. And not only for wealth in money, but wealth across all aspects of life. Real wealth isn't just about having money in the bank. Yes, of course, money in the bank and real assets are critical to improving your quality of life. But it is, it's more than that. Real wealth is about being fully self-expressed in life, being all of who you can be, creating exceptional relationships, being the spouse, the friend, the parent that you want to be. It's about being able to wake up every day full of gratitude, energy, full of vitality. Real wealth is the freedom to make the decisions that you want to make when, to, when you want to make them without feeling guilty, without kind of going into a contraction or having regret. If you're looking to live this kind of life, then you are in the right spot. And I would love to invite you to come and join us in our programs. So just to set the scene, our flow is, we're going to get all your questions answered. So your questions about the content this week, do pop them in the comments, uh, in the chat. 
Um, if you're on the replay and you have a question, pop it in and, and tag me and then I will circle back and answer it, answer it, you know, later today or tomorrow. Of course, it depends on when you when you get to the get to the replay. Um, but our Vortex is open until the 21st. Um, and so there's there's time for, you know, diving in and revisiting the content. Um, so you've got that spaciousness for you. And then at the end of today, we're going to do the prize draws for the future progression in the Akashic Records. This is a digital activation that you can listen to, and it builds on the one that you received this week. So super excited to see who is going to win that. And we will reveal we're going to do three names at the end. So stay tuned uh, for, for that. And then next Friday, we're going to do the draw for those of you who kindly completed our survey. So your name goes into a draw to win a private one to one with me. That's 30 minutes private one-to-one -one with me. The, the, value, the value of that is £2,000. So it's absolutely huge. Um, and if you need the link for the survey, if you haven't completed it yet, let's just give you the link. Is this the right link? Um, I think it is. I'm just going to double check that. Mm -mm. I mean, you will get the link for you. That's not the right link. Okay, we'll get the link for you. And we'll pop it in the uh comments for you beneath this video so you can check in and uh, do the survey if you haven't done the survey already welcome everyone who's joining us welcome welcome okay so i'm going to invite you just to take a moment to become fully present so that you can be focused on this time together to gift yourself a couple of letting go breaths calling all of your energy back to the here and now and to just take a moment and consider what's your intention for being on this masterclass or on the replay, so whether you're here live or on the replay. How are you going to use what you've learned this week? Use it in your life and your business. And on a scale of one to 10, how aligned to your intentions are you feeling right now? So alignment to the money that you're calling in, alignment to the desires that you have for your business, for your life, for your revenue. To take a moment why do you want to continue to evolve and live at your highest potential just to connect in with that how important is it to you how do you want to feel at the end of our time together pop it in the chats Energy follows intention, as we know, because you're here. So we want to be intentional. So it's my intention that you get your questions answered. If you're catching the replay, then pop the questions um, in the comments and you can circle back. And we can have a chat in, in Messenger. I want to make sure everyone's got the information about what we're up to in the Wealth Portal and IPC or the Infinite Prosperity Collective, our certification programs, the Helix Method and the Akashic Records that you're able to make an aligned decision. Alrighty. And the other thing I'd love to know is a little bit of accountability is who did their living in the energy of the questions they're going to sleep last night, manifesting in their sleep, as I call it, and imprinted their activation this morning as they, as they woke up. Let me know in the comments. And what are you celebrating so far this week? Yay, Shallon did. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Beautiful. Doing the work daily on myself, so I'm good enough to teach it correctly to others. Yes. So good. So good. I can see I did it. I've been doing it all week. Oh, how are you feeling now you've been doing it consistently? What's the difference that you've noticed? Awesome. I love it. And as we're diving in, I want to make sure your questions are answered. So this is an opportunity for some laser coaching. So if there's a, a niggle or a question or an insight and a ha, pop it in the pop it in the chat and um, we will keep you moving forward. Yay, Shallon saying celebrating some unexpected money coming in and some great energetic breakthroughs for myself. Yes. It's so exciting. I love doing it. I'm finding things are coming very easily. Yes, this is the most important thing you can do for your life. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. 
Uh, I'm ready for it all to unfold. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm feeling more aligned. I'm more abundant and aligned to my dreams than ever. Oh, so excited. So excited. I've had two breakthroughs already. Oh, my word. This is just fantastic. Keep the celebrations coming in. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to just share some questions that uh, come through that may spark some thoughts for you um, as I um, speak to these. Um, and in, indeed, you might, you might go, oh, actually, I've got a question. I didn't realize I had a question. So I'm scanning the, the uh, comment section to pick up your questions um, as they come through. Of course, you haven't got a question, it's absolutely fine. Um, do share updates as well, because updates often will may generate a question for somebody else, or I might have a question for you, then that generates another uh, insight for you as well. So often it's like, oh, I don't have a question, but you've got in in sharing the update, that's where the, the next layer of the breakthrough comes through as we have a conversation around it. Congratulations, Trina, celebrating being put forward to host a workshop or a, oh, it moved a local networking event. Yay, love it how these opportunities are coming through. Okay, this is awesome. So one of the questions that comes up a lot is around, hmm, what does it mean when the money or the opportunity comes through my my partner, my life partner. What does this mean? So has anybody here ever sent, set an intention and then noticed that you, and this might happen as a pattern, that you always receive it, but it comes through your partner? And if this is you, my question to you is, how do you feel about this? Do you feel amazing? Like, yep, it's awesome. It's coming through the, the, the path of least resistance. Or is it triggering? And I speak to this because it comes up a lot with my clients where they're thinking that there's something wrong because it's coming through their partner. Even though they've received it, that's what they wanted to receive. Somehow it doesn't count. <laughs> she was like, thank you. I knew there was a question. So if you're married or you're living with someone as if you're married and you have a commitment or agreement or vows to each other, when you're married or you have those commitments and vows to each other, you inherit your partner's stuff and they get yours too. So some things that you can consider is that you're manifesting a shared goal. So something that you're both committed to and it's coming through the easiest line of least resistance. So if your partner, for example, has a more established business or they have investments in place already, the money's going to come through that money channel. And money is a masculine energy. So the money coming in is going to come in through the person who is embodied in their masculine energy as well. So my invitation is to celebrate it as a good thing that you're manifesting. It's coming through your shared relationship goals and it's coming through the easiest route. And the consciousness of your relationship has manifested the reality. So how else is this showing up in the consciousness of your relationship with your partner? Are you intending on manifesting something as a partnership, but it's not coming through? Then you can consider, well, what transgenerational patterns and vows have you taken on from your partner's family, your partner's mother or father? Did they have a good relationship with money? All of this is going to be in your partner's energy field that you have agreements and vows with. Did they have a good relationship about sacred commerce, about the gift of business as a service? I love all these comments coming through. So my husband's became a contractor, earned a lot of money, and now has, he's been given a stable opportunity to sit supporting me. It's also felt annoying. That is the word coming through. Looking to enjoy it more. Thank you for shining light on it because my manifestations come true for him to quit his weekend work. Yes, this is exciting, exciting. Yeah, paying attention to where we're feeling triggered, like, hmm, why am I feeling annoyed? What's going on there? So what the invitation here is, what transgenerational patterns and vows may you have taken on that can be creating a little bit of wonky energy in your shared manifestation and vice versa? Your partner's going to have taken on all of your transgenerational stuff as well. So just let me let me know what's what's landing for you. Okay, it's awesome. So it's resonating for Trina. Thank you. 
let me know if you're catching the replay if this resonates it feels relevant to you or if it's like yeah this isn't one I'm gonna just clock this one for future <laughs> Often people will, um, when we're hosting these masterclasses, be recognizing that as they are tuning in, I'm inviting you to pay attention to how these um, beliefs and emotions are holding in your body, the energetic imprint in your body. You'll notice a pressure in an area or you'll start to notice you're feeling cold or tired or yawning. This is all completely normal. Just know that your body is showing you where it's letting go of uh, energetic patterns and where it's adjusting to new vibrations and frequencies. So in integrating and healing, I highly recommend setting the intention to integrate in the easiest, effortless, most joyous way without having a healing crisis. We don't actually need to have physical validation to know that we've had an energetic shift. Does that make sense? So the yawning, the burping, the tummy, gurgling, the farting, the tingling, all the all the things. Falling asleep, leaving your body, it's all completely normal. It's just energy moving. All right, I've got a question around. This is great. Thank you for bringing this forward, Shannon. So my spouse is very shut down with money. So I make my own money goals. Ah, okay. So how do I suggest I work with that energetic reality? Do you have any um, money goals as a family? And are they flowing, if that makes sense? One of the things that we do in the in the wealth portal is clearing the energy around the vows and the agreements that we've made with significant people in our lives so that we're not holding that energy in our body so that you're able to then, through your energy field, influencing anywhere that you have got your your money goals that he's not imprint they're not imprinting onto your energy field in relation to that okay so very much you've got independent accounts in terms of business goals any relationship goals and intentions or is that very separate as well the other question now for you is is it flowing as you would like where is the stickiness showing up for you if that makes sense Shannon Trina's saying my hands are hot and flowery now <laughs> yeah so inviting you to notice there in relation to okay so no relationship goals not flowing and would you like relationship goals in terms of you know your desires for your family any aspirations that you have a question I have for you Shannon just see if this resonates and leave it if it doesn't is does it feel lonely in being the one that's taking the energetic responsibility and making the the intentions and the goals okay I would um recommend starting with that piece there so really feeling into the energetic imprint of loneliness and loneliness as a pattern so you can let that go and heal that and then setting the intention around what you desire from your relationship in terms of those relationship goals and you know I know that you're um, thinking of the wealth portal so I can help you with this if you come into the wealth portal around being able to let go of any energetic imprints that are coming through from your spouse onto your goals and anything that um, you may have picked up from his family too if that makes sense ah Trina's saying they believe it when I see it yesterday I felt it was my husband's he used to say it a lot it's amazing, isn't it? When we start to go, oh my God, <laughs> I can literally see where I've been running this thought in my head and it's not even my belief. <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> and we buy, our, we buy our thoughts so often at the time, which is why I love the muscle testing because so often people will say, oh, this is happening because of X, Y, Z. They're buying their thought, but it hasn't actually a belief yet. And so then when you muscle test, you find out what's going on underneath and you're like, oh, actually, that's the bit that I need to work on. Not this this layer up here, if that makes sense. 
Oh, my letter, that's fantastic. My relationships are very good. And the one with my partner is beautiful. Yay! Shannon's saying it does, doesn't it? Okay, awesome. You're welcome, lovely. Good morning. I want to do the one with the most impact on relaxing me and dialing down my negative emotions due to PMDD in the menopause. Such as crying, anger, feeling at my lowest point and being on my own to deal with them, which is totally physical and hormonal. The Helix Method is where, so the certification program, I know you've been thinking about that one for a while, Rachel, is where we dive in and do some deep, deep work um, around health and releasing the uh, emotions and beliefs where they will have contributed to 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 that um so it may be i know you're having a think about that and you were mentioning about current resources that we just think of a timeline that's going to work for you um if it feels in line for you to step into the helix method hope that helps lovely another thing just to speak to this is so good. Thank you so much for your contributions because it just makes the conversation richer um, being able to, to share what's going on. Um, and this one, I remember saying this <laughs> as, as a kid. <laughs> is, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Well, you know, when you're going on a long car journey, and you're like, oh my goodness, it feels like I've been in the car for five days and it's only been like 20 minutes. You're like <laughs> really feeling impatient. <laughs> um and so this is why I like to call that this split energy, this are we there yet? Why is it not here yet? And here's the thing, whatever you've got going on around you is always an indication of your vibration. And what I mean by split energy is that it's when some part of us wants something. So the conscious mind wants something. And then another part of us, the subconscious is like, I'm so, no, sorry, it's not in alignment with your identity. And we need to go this way because we've been programmed to go this way. Remembering the fleas aren't going to jump out of that flea jar after they've been trained to, to, to not jump out. So the subconscious is going, no, sorry, we're going this way. And the conscious mind, no, I've got my business plan. I'm going in this direction. And so we've got this kind of push-pull energy going on. And then we've also got our higher self who's saying, excuse me, <laughs> I'd like to be leading this way. This is my soul's journey. And that's why we want to be able to have our higher self, our conscious mind and our subconscious mind aligned for where we want to go. So we're getting rid of that, that split energy. And if it's helpful, a great way to think about split energy is to, to start to get ready for a big influx of cash. So you can start to flush this out. So, for example, if you knew that money that you're manifesting this week, it was all going to come in tomorrow. Would you be ready for it? So I'm just going to invite you just to close your eyes and just feel it come in all in one go. How does it feel? And if it's tied to onboarding new clients or creating a new product, are you ready for it? Does it feel easy or do you feel like, oh, and now I've got to do this, 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 this. Is your higher self, your conscious mind, your subconscious aligned? Yes, I'm ready. Awesome. Because so spit energy can bubble up, you know, where we might feel aligned with working with more clients, but then have some resistance around allowing ourselves to receive more money. So there, there's two things going on with money when it's coming from our work, our purpose. And the fears that can bubble up creating this spit energy include things like that. So, and I've seen this this week with people's comments. So thank you so much for sharing all the comments. Like, I'm afraid I won't be able to hold on to the money. Some people might ask me for money. More people might ask me for money. Who has family members that suddenly seem to ask for more money when they know you've got it? If you've got children at any age, they've got a radar for this. Or family members, brothers, sisters, parents. Will you have a sense of, going to have to be responsible for more people. Our programming from our childhood can really kick in. And if we're expanding our identity and our consciousness, it's going to just try and keep us where we're vibrationally at. And these, these fears create split energy, this resistance. That's where it can start to feel like, oh, I've made a step forward and now I've gone back two steps. Still growing, but it can start to feel like that real stickiness, if that makes sense. So. 
just staying with this for a moment as we start to flush this out. If you had a large amount of money coming in tomorrow, how would it feel unsafe? What is the worst thing that could happen? Let's raise the amount of money coming in. What is the worst thing that could happen if 100K landed in your account tomorrow? So this is additional money, unexpected, on top of what you're expecting to bring in. So I just invite you just to close your eyes and just to visualize 100K coming in. What's the worst thing that could happen? Now the ego mind is going to go nothing. It's going to be amazing. I just invite you to notice how the subconscious is speaking to you. So do you feel neutral, like no emotion? Do you feel a pressure anywhere, a sensation? Do you get hot, cold? Just keep breathing, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just be in the allowance to see and notice what you notice. Just invite you to tune into your inner guidance to ask what would feel unsafe about this. So you can allow the split energy to be revealed. I know it. You go straight on to your certification course. It wouldn't stay in your bank. Ah, it's a gift, not an income. I like your thinking. Yeah, and then you'll be able to turn that into adding a service to your business, helping more people, making more money. Beautiful. Loving this Q&A. Awesome. I'm so glad this is serving. Yeah. So where the problem becomes the purpose. So this is another way that split energy can show up is be it with a misalignment with purpose. This is actually a distraction pattern. We can get an energetic charge for being in the energy of trying to fix the thing, sorting out that thing. We become very purposeful <laughs> in sorting out the problem, fixing our business, fixing ourselves. And when we're coming at it from that perspective, if you think about it, we're coming at it from a contracted energy, from that reverse re resistant energy. What does that create? More reversed resistant energies, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. We become the project. Rather than focusing on the thing that's going to take us to where we want to be. Yeah, we're sorting this out. We're taking care of it. But we're focusing our attention on there. So our attention splits. <laughs> and then, as we know, where our attention is becomes our int intention. This is always a bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> and then our energy follows our intention. So I just invite you to notice, have you ever been so focused on the problem at all that your energy is focused on that and you're amplifying that energy rather than your intention? So wherever our energy is split, when we don't have the strongest energetic focus on our attention, it's just diluting our magnetizing. I feel really good about, about it, paying my debts, investing myself, paying my mum and sister's debts. Awesome. And how do you feel in that space of, right, I've taken care of, of all of that? What's the energy now after that by letter? Okay, it's saying, I'd like to be in the energy to receive it. How do we create that? So what are you telling yourself, Kate, in relation to being in the energy of receiving? So my first question for you is, do you believe you are ready to receive it? What are the thoughts that come up when you're thinking about, well, I'd like to receive it. So just pop those in the comments so I can see what's coming through for you. Righty. One of the questions I get asked a lot, so let me know if you've ever thought this question as well. How do I collapse timelines? So a great way to think about this is, I'm sure who is a parking, a ninja parking space manifesto if you drive a car. 
I mean, my parking space manifesting is I am the best. <laughs> I'm so good at it. Are you in that space where you're like, I can manifest parking spaces like there's no tomorrow, but why am I feeling like I can't do it with, with the bigger stuff? And of course, it's that we don't have that attachment with the parking space, but we have all our attachments <laughs> wrapped up in the, in the bigger stuff. And of course, you know, it boils down to becoming an energetic match to that which you desire and doing the inner work around your identity. It is your identity that creates the paradigms and the concepts. So anywhere in our identity, we're holding that, speaking to what Kate was asking, was around that we haven't got the capacity to receive. And it's, you know, tied in with our nervous system and, and how much we will allow in energetically. And so this is where, this is ongoing work that we need to do throughout our life. This isn't one and done. Energy is always changing and moving. Or is it, you know, receiving feedback from our environment? And then that's all feeding and imprinting into our subconscious. So we need to take care of our, our consciousness daily. We really do. So that we are consciously allowing our higher self to lead. And we are consciously taking care of our consciousness rather than just allowing the subconscious to, you know, absorb what's going on around because it will be anyway in alignment with the current default set point. So we need to do the work to, to, to raise it. It's like a feedback loop. A great way to see this one, I've spoken to this before. I know some of you may have heard me talk about this before, but in case anybody hasn't, is um, are you aware of the tuning fork experiment? So you know that tuning forks can be tuned to different frequencies. So they make different uh, different tunes, different tones. And when you have, these are my tuning forks <laughs> demonstrating here. When you have two tuning forks that are tuned to the same frequency and you have them next door to each other, if you were to hit one tuning fork, then the other tuning fork will vibrate as well because it's in resonant with it, even though you haven't hit it. So if you think of us as the tuning forks. And then what happens with the two tuning fork experiment when you change the frequency of one of them? it's on a different frequency and then you do the same experiment so you hit the first tuning fork the other tuning fork doesn't pick up the vibrations it doesn't resonate so it doesn't make a sound so that's why if you think of everything as energy and being and, and frequencies when you're working towards making changes in life and they haven't appeared yet there are Blocks, resistant energy, stagnation, resistant energy, reversed energy, those, those pieces of contraction that are just slowing the vibration down. And as you're doing the work, getting more and more of you into flow, into that, raising that frequency so that you're bringing yourself into resonance. You are a magnet to what is in resonance with you. So the other way I love to think of this is by seeing your experience of life as just as a mirror, literally like a mirror, of what you're holding internally, mirrors and magnets. So that's why the most important thing we can do for ourselves is to create our identities that will support us. And we do that by clearing our energy, our emotions, our thoughts that aren't serving us, so that we are fine-tuned to the frequency that we've decided. So that if we decided we want this tuning fork, we tune up our frequency so that we bring ourselves into resonance, so that we're on the same frequency as the tuning fork, if that makes sense. Truly learning the art of mastering energy psychology is the most important thing you can do to collapse timelines for, for manifesting. And it is your priority for a breakthrough in your money ceiling because it's the complete gift to, the, to you, to your business, because that's how you make a bigger impact in, with your desire in the world. We want to be able to bring ourselves in alignment with the identity of our future self that you all were introduced in the Akashic Records, when we did it on Wednesday, what did that version of you believe, hold, or the experiences that they already have? We need to be them now. And the gift is, as we're working with our body's intelligence, the subconscious will reveal all the things that are hidden in our energetic vibration as it's throwing up <laughs> its best efforts to stop us from moving forward. It's best resistance, it's best energetic patterns, the fears of success, the fears of upgrading life, fear of failure, fear of change. 
the subconscious doesn't like change. <laughs> and know that whenever you're about to step over the that line and fully commit to whatever it is, you know, whatever you've decided that's going to elevate your business, <laughs> the monkey mind's going to kick off. And it can feel like a roller coaster of emotions at times. Does that resonate? Yeah. The other one that can be a, um, a, a block, I say can be, is, <laughs> is a block, is anywhere we're holding money trauma. And there's many aspects of money trauma, but um, particularly um, see a lot of aspects around where money has a sort of toxic edge to it, if that makes sense. And when we're receiving toxic money, how we can kind of push all money away. You know, we can have money trauma from so many different experiences in life this life, past lives. It can be investments that, you know, haven't had the ROI, you know, the return on investment that you desired. It can be trauma from bankruptcy or divorce settlements or or where money has felt like it's had conditions attached to it. That's toxic money, to name but a few. And our money trauma can push money away across all aspects. We can resent where our money is coming from sometimes, particularly when we're in transition and want to move on to something else. So if you're in a job and you want to move on, but you can't yet, if your main client is providing you with the bulk of your income and has become a pain and you want to sack them, but you're afraid of letting them go because something hasn't lined up, or if you're dependent on an income coming in from an ex and there's strings and conditions all wrapped up in it, it slows down the manifesting. And the thing is, you know, all money comes from the universe. And if you resist it in one area, you're blocking it from coming in in, in the other areas. And just to speak to, to this um, with a personal experience. So this was um, quite a few years ago now. Gosh, it must have been about 10 years ago when I was working for social services. I think maybe for very old then. <laughs> I was just like looking at the year thinking, Wow, was it that long ago? Okay, so and I remember feeling really resentful about my son's fa- um, my son's father and uh, how he was or wasn't paying maintenance. It was an absolute emotional roller coaster. He would pay and then he wouldn't pay and then he would pay, and it just had a huge impact on us financially because I, you know, the budget included the the maintenance, and my nervous system was just going through the roof and um, and uh, being triggered. And I started feeling so scared that he wasn't going to pay. And my perception, and I believe my perception at that point in time was he's really unreliable with his payments. And so I've got to make this work. I was in a real push energy of money. I've got to get promoted. I've got to make more money. I just started my network marketing business as a vehicle to give myself a pay rise. But behind all of my actions was I've got to do this so that I don't have to have that. I don't have to be dependent on that because it might not be there. Does that make sense? What kind of energy do you think that created overall? Just more push-pull. Just attracted back more push-pull, more inconsistency in payments. And then when I realised what I was doing energetically and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to let it go. If it comes in, it comes in. And I'm just going to be grateful for whenever he does pay with no attachment I lost the fear I lost the it's gotta he's gotta pay and I released that resistant energy and this blew my mind but then he was consistent and all I'd done was change my energy around it so I share that so you can think about okay so where is there like stagnation going on where is there flow it Where is there like resistance in the flow? Where are you holding on to any historical um, resentments or push energy around money? Like I've got to make it work. God, it's got to work. All the money feels it's coming to you with conditions. Oh, I'm so glad that was helpful. Yeah, you're feeling similar push-pull energies. Anybody else recognizing that they may have had moments along their life journey where they're like, oh, yeah can see that happen for me or where you may be creating that now because of the energy that they're holding around a situation because it will have an impact on all money flow across all areas of your life 
I just invite you to think of, you know, all the things that you can be grateful for in terms of what the money allows you to do, where you need to forgive yourself. And then just to clear up your receiving flow so there just isn't any congestion in one of the pathways as it's coming to you. We get the gift is we get to see money is an energy. So it can help to not only think about how we receive it, but also about the energy we send out behind our paying for services and investing in things and so on. This is where we get to be really intentional. So if you think, and I love this analogy, I can't remember where I first heard it. I've used this for quite a few years now because it really resonated for me. So I hope it resonates with you. But if you think of the journey of a simple one pound coin or a dollar bill and how you can transmute the energy of money collectively with all the money that you handle. So if you were to find, I mean, if anyone does have cash now, <laughs> I was thinking, have I got actually got any real cash? It's all on my, my phone, but you can do this with your phone as well. So you could do it with like looking at your cards. If you've got your um, debit or credit cards on your phone, I invite you to so either hold the real cash <laughs> that you've got, hold the dollar, hold the pound, or the, the card that you've got, and just think about every everyone that has held this piece of money or the money that's going to go through that card and what they've used it for. So if you were to look at the pound coin, if we just think of the cash for them for this moment, and think about all of the people that are going to hold that money in the future once it's left your, your hands and what they're going to use it for. And this is the magic of money. It's infinite. So the money's in my hands right now. And then, so for example, Moses has just come home. So of course, what does he need? What do we need to do? We need to go and fill up the fridge because <laughs> he's a 22 year old man. So he's going to eat lots. <laughs> so we've got to go to Tesco's. So this money is going to go and be used by me to go and buy Moses some food. It's going to, it's not going to be a pound. It's not going to cost a pound, but it's going to contribute to my shopping bill in Tesco's. And then that pound in Tesco's is going to go to the Tesco or whatever supermarket. I'm not advertising a supermarket here or whatever to, to your local supermarket is. And in that area, it's going to go part of that little bit of money is going to go and help pay for the, the man or the woman that's helping me whilst I'm packing up my shopping. Then that money is going to go into her bank account or his bank account and contribute towards her expenses. Maybe she's going to go on holiday with a little tiny portion of that. And I love it when you start to think about, wow, this is going to go from that family's home into somebody else's family home, and then it's going to go into someone else's family home. Making a huge contribution to everybody's quality of life. Can you feel the energy of that? I just absolutely, when... It has changed how I spend money when I think about where this money is going as it leaves my bank account. I send it off with love. It's so fun. So you've just blessed your shopping receipt. <laughs> so you're like, I bless that. Send you off with love. We can spend it really intentionally with love and gratitude. So we're just sending out that loving energy. It's like money laundering. <laughs> we're clearing, cleaning the money as we're sending it off with love as it leaves our family home and goes off to other people's family homes, if that makes sense. So I just invite you to kind of think about how is money leaving your, your family, your business? Do you send it out with fear and contraction? Do you send it out with trust that there's always more money coming in? There's always more money coming in so I can go out without there being an energetic charge because I know there's more money coming back in again. Or do you spend, I was going to say with neglect, but spend with no thought of, oh, right, I've just got that. Da, 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 da. And that's kind of like neglecting money. If money was a person, we would be saying thank you. How are you? Taking care of it. Money doesn't like to be neglected. Humans don't like to be neglected. What insights are coming through as you're thinking about this? I would love to know if you if you do this already or next time you're going shopping, just invite you to take a moment to notice how you're spending money. Where is your attention going as you're spending it? 
I'm investing it. Let's be really intentional with money. Let's send love around the world by spending money with love. So spending the money and just sending love to the next family or families that are going to receive receive that, that money. And blessing it as we do with gratitude for what we've been able to purchase with that money and the intention that you receive it back tenfold. Let me know what's what's landing for you. This is such a big takeaway. Oh, I'm so excited. It makes spending money like double, doubly fun. <laughs> And we can contribute to the collective consciousness in this way. Oh, I brought you tears. We can lead with love with how we spend money. Hi, Glenda. Is this helpful? Any other questions coming through? One of the other things that can come through is um, people often will say, why does it seem easier to stay in the in the lower frequencies? And this is because you haven't changed your identity yet. So you are reverting back to your old default set points. As the inner work is embedded, you rise up to your higher frequencies and you continue to rise up and down going on, you know, depending on what's going on in life. But your resting state set point will change as your identity changes. Part of your identity is the beliefs you hold, the emotions you have, your baseline emotion, and your cells are literally addicted to the chemical reactions of the current version of you. I'm going to say that again. Your cells in your body are literally addicted to the chemical reactions of the current version of you. So your body shows you your subconscious mind. It wants to keep you safe, hang on to safety. And we can trigger not feeling safe as we move towards our path of self-actualization. And in the Helix Method, we have a tool, a vibrational scale that mentors can use with their clients so they can really understand this concept and how to help their clients see the changes and what's happening and why. But to take a moment to think about as you're thinking about moving forward, are you motivated by desire? expansion or by pain and struggle like I've got to get away from which is contraction and that reversed energy that resistant energy are you taking action on the thing because you want to get by and survive and the energy you're in as you take the action creates more of that are you taking action on the thing because you want to contribute and to live in the energy of desire and surplus it's a different frequency that you're but the same action you're taking does that make sense but how you feel about yourself whilst you're doing you're doing the thing. So some questions you can ask yourself is, what's the energy I'm in? What am I getting from keeping things stable, safe, secure? What am I getting? What's the energy I'm getting from this plateau in my business? What's feeling safe? What is it I'm needing? <laughs> yikes I feel you've called you've energetically called me out multiple times today <laughs> glad this is this is uh, resonating so what's the energy I'm getting from this is it easy does it feel comfortable does it feel safe what am I needing what are the cells addicted to what do they want to keep me feeling by creating this. Where else can you create stability energy without needing it to play out in your business so you aren't hanging on to things that you should have let go of? And this is the thing, if you think about this, you know, if we're holding on to safety, if you think of the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, we're operating from self-preservation, that bottom level, and it creates income stagnation and Groundhog Day, so it just makes it harder for us to work harder to attract a certain volume of people in our programs, our services, our products, you know, whatever your business is. 
the vibration that we are transmitting is out of alignment with it, the services that we're offering, um, which is of self-actualization, particularly if you're a coach or a healer, you're contributing to people in a way of making their lives better, which most services are, which is towards self-actualization. So we're moving out of out of alignment with what we're offering, which is going to make everything go wonky. Alrighty, so shall we do some clearings around this? That feel good. So I'm gonna I'll share the the phrases. We'll we'll just do these to, together collectively. Take what resonates, leave the rest something doesn't resonate just carry on breathing so I'm just going to invite you just to take a moment to set the intention to connect with your higher self visualizing your soul star chakra above your head just to take a moment to increase your life force energy so breathing in for four holding for four and then breathing out for eight and just to do this three times at your own pace And then when you're ready, speaking to all levels of my consciousness, I'm creating a clear channel of communication, and manifestation between my subconscious, conscious and higher self. So they are 100% connected and in perfect alignment and all working towards my highest path and purpose. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just becoming aware of your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter and light white green light coming down from your soul star chakra, filling up your aura. I'm just going to invite you to say this out loud. Anywhere and everywhere. I've been committed to keeping things the same. I'm willing to let that go. Across all dimensions, planes, times, and all levels of consciousness. Just breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. And then saying internally, I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. But just following that breath of breathing in for four, breathing out for four. You can hear this in your mind's eye. Anywhere and everywhere, I have been committed to keeping things the same. I'm willing to let that go across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all the stuff that doesn't serve. Again, silently saying, anywhere and everywhere, I've been committed to keeping things the same. I'm willing to let that go across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in and out. Let's clear anywhere there's been a commitment to creating a plateau because it feels comfortable. Your body knows how to deal with a plateau. So saying this out loud once, you can, your energy field can hear you saying it. Everywhere and anywhere, I've been committed to creating a plateau as it feels comfortable. I'm willing to let that go across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Just notice how your body's responding. Are you getting hot, cold? This is where the energetic imprint is. You may remember something, you might feel it's like it's unrelated. It is related if it's come through right now. One more time internally, anywhere and everywhere. I've been committed to creating a plateau as it feels comfortable. I'm willing to let that go 
across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Let's just stay with this one. Noticing how your body's responding. Anywhere and everywhere I've been committed to creating a plateau as it feels comfortable and willing to let that go across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love. Breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Let's do one more clearing. So where anywhere we're choosing safety, it's a misaligned safety over self-actualization. So it's like a contracted safety over self-actualization to let that one go. So taking a nice deep breath in, breathing in for four, breathing out for four. As you feel your aura filling up with light, white, green light, just washing over you from your soul star chakra. Saying out loud, anywhere and everywhere, I'm choosing safety over self-actualization. I'm willing to let that go across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energies that no longer serve. Again, just doing a little body scan, notice what you notice. Any sensations that weren't there before? Any sensations getting louder or quieter? Are they moving in your body? What are you remembering? And then silently saying, anywhere and everywhere, I'm choosing safety over self-actualization. I'm willing to let that go. Across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Just do this one last time. Anywhere and everywhere, I'm choosing safety over self actualization. I'm willing to let that go. Across all dimensions, planes, times, levels of consciousness. Notice how this is feeling in your body. What's feeling different? And then let's activate what we desire. So who's up for being committed to being in the energy of expansion and allowing your desires to lead you and to step forward to being your fullest self-expression and to choose being more of you? If you are, have been in the struggle, you aren't fully yet allowing yourself to be more of you. So are you ready to be in the energy of expansion? Let me know in the comments. You're like, yep, yes to commitment to expansion. All righty. Anybody else? Yep, yep. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to invite you to activate Heart coherence by breathing in for four, breathing out for four. Take a moment to feel your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. Feel your heart filling up with love. Your heart chakra is getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. You might want to put your hand on your heart or your arms up in the air. Choose whatever feels right for you. We're going to say this phrase out loud once and then twice internally. As always, I'll say it out loud so you can follow along. I am committed to being in the energy of expansion. My desires lead me. I choose my fullest self-expression. I choose to be more of me. 
I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four, allowing your heart chakra to get bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. I am committed. You're so saying this one internally. I'm committed to being in the energy of expansion. My desires lead me. I choose my fullest self-expression. I choose to be more of me. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. It's breathing in grace and love. Feel your heart chakra getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. One last time internally, I am committed to being in the energy of expansion. My desires lead me. I choose my fullest self-expression. I choose to be more of me. I allow this across all dimensions, planes, times, and levels of consciousness. Breathing in grace and love, breathing out all energy that no longer serves. Just allowing yourself to stay in this moment. Feeling your heart chakra expanding, it's getting bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter, bigger and brighter. Just to bring your awareness to the question that we've been living in the energy of this week. Why am I surrounded by love and abundance? Why do large sums of money continually come to me? How is love leading in your business? What would love do? As you're feeling into any inspired actions or names of people to reach out and see how they're doing, I invite you to reach out to five people today, see how you can help them, see how they are. Helping them might include you need to recommend a serve, someone else's service to them. It might be that they're ready to work with you. It might be they need to be reminded that they are loved. Can you reach out to five people every day this week? See how they are. See how you can help them. Are they ready to have the results they desire and to come and work with you. Alrighty. So we'd love to know how is everybody feeling just as you're all kind of coming back, feel your feet on the floor. You need to root yourself, just start to visualize roots coming out of the soles of your feet. Bring your breath, your awareness of your breath down into your belly. Feeling calm, fantastic. Yes to expansion and overdrive, love it. Alrighty. So any other questions that have bubbled up, if you're catching the replay, do pop them in the uh, comment section. I'll circle back and answer them. That just calm my nervous system in a wonderful way. Thank you. It's such great work you do. Hi, oh, welcome, Katrina. So exciting. Alrighty. So I'm going to just give you a quick overview now of the 
programs because I know there are many of you that are wanting the opportunity to continue the momentum together. So we're going to dive into any questions that you have about the programs and we'll do the prize draw at the end. So we have the wealth portal where you're breaking through your money ceiling in the next 60 days or less without coming up against your stuff, without going into contraction or working harder. We have the Infinite Prosperity Collective or IPC. If you hear me ever say IPC, this is what I'm talking about, where you'll create a profitable, sustainable business. You can make a bigger impact with your work. And we have our, our prosperity bundle where you can enjoy both, both IPC and the Wealth Portal. And then we have our certification programs. So we have the Helix Method, a certification program where you'll master energy psychology for rapid results for yourself and for your clients so you can master the energetics and add this as a service to your business. We also have the Akashic Records certification where you'll learn to channel Akashic Records for you and your clients and you can add that as a service to your business as well. And we have our certification bundle. That's for those of you that want to dive in deep and do both together. Many of our clients either come in to do the Akashic Records and then go on to do the Helix Method or come in and do the Helix Method and go on to do the Akashic Records or do both together at the same time. So this is why I want to offer, offer you the bundle as well. And we've got a juicy bonus. So for the first five action takers who are ready and pay in full for their program, and this is exclusive for you guys here, um, you will receive a 30-minute private one-to-one -one with me. Um, this juicy bonus expires on Tuesday, so all depending, you know, if they've gone before then. And just as a heads up, this is the last time that we're offering these um, private one-to-one -one bonuses with me. So just to give you a heads up on that one. Any questions as we go, pop them below um, in the uh, Facebook group and we'll send them over in DMs and we'll get your question question answered. Oh, I'm so excited to hear that. Katrina's saying, if anyone interested, the Wealth Portal is a gift that keeps on giving. I still engage with it and love how much is packed into it. Each time I do it, I learn something new and move forward to a new place. Yes, so excited. So excited. Okay, so let's dive in. So the Wealth Portal is for all entrepreneurs, leaders and coaches who want to break through their money ceiling and embody their next level of money consciousness over the next 60 days and then want to hold their up level. So I'm going to take you through this live, showing you the exact steps and how to release the cluster of you know, hidden blocks and resistances and releasing the gold trauma, the financial trauma, things you knew about, things you didn't know about. And I have found that people do really well with this step-by-step -step guidance and being able to come together to share their experiences of what's been bubbling up like we have this week and the wealth and the, the insights you get from each other's shares is so powerful so we're healing your relationship with money and changing our identity around money and I guide you step by step with specific things to do with our helix method manifesting ritual so you've got you have the results that you desire and as your identity changes your personality changes your reality and how we do this we gather together three times a month so that you're fully supported and with time to have your questions answered, you receive laser coaching on the niggles that are coming up anywhere there might be any stickiness or trauma. That's asking for healing. Our next live call is the 17th of May. I would absolutely love to have you join us and uh, to, to dive in with us. We're going to be um, doing a deep workshop together on the uh, 17th of May. So this week we'll have you set up for success with the Wealth Portal and then we will dive into a deep workshop together and we do one each week. And so we have three calls a month um, and then we have a, a week where there's integration. So there's no call. And that's a really important part of transformation, having that time for integration. And there's always, you know, insight shifts, transformations, ahas. And I just get it's so exciting when the opportunities start coming and the ideas start flowing. And as you start to take action on them and trust and your trust in yourself grows, you start to have a bigger and bigger impact. And then the money starts to flow and you get access to the program for life. So you can always go back and revisit it. So this is for you. If you are an entrepreneur, you have got a business um, or you're a coach um, and uh if you, this is calling you, then just to reach out to let me know that you'd like all the juicy details and our masterclass savings. And we have got the invitation for you both with US dollars and in pounds. So we've had an upgrade. We're able to accept US dollars now as well, which is amazing. And if you pay in full or Tuesday or you're one of the first two, first five to, then you'll receive a private bonus uh, call with me as well. So just let me let me know, reach out, and let me know you'd like the invitation. We'll have a quick chat so I can make sure it's a fit for you. And um, you can then just read through all the details and just let me know you're in and we'll get you set up. So it's nice and simple. 
And if you are a coach, a mentor, or a leader, and you want to have business coaching and the energetics, then the Infinite Prosperity Collective is for you. This is our eight-month mastermind. This is where you are growing your profitable, sustainable business um, and whilst making the difference that you came here to here to make. And we'll see, you know, when you when you get started, we'll see where you're at in business. And when you first join IPC and then we'll create your pathway to success, you can get the needle moved in your business immediately and you'll have my guidance and support with all our template, templates and swipe copy and the alignment and the manifesting that we support you with. All the things you need to go, you know, for growing your business to have a profitable multi six figure business in your way. Everybody's different. So we want to make sure you're growing it in an aligned way for you. So it's not just about you know, having to implement a strategy in a way that someone else has done it is would tailor it so that you're in alignment with what you're doing. And you have unlimited copy reviews of your marketing material, which is quite simply worth its weight in gold. So we'll be ensuring your marketing and sales are in alignment with your unique energetic blueprint, your human design. Everyone is unique. You get to create your business in a way that's going to suit your energy and you'll discover the things that you need to know for your business and all the things you didn't need to know, didn't know that you needed to know. So I'm by your side guiding you. And again, we gather together three times a month. So you're fully supported um, where you receive laser coaching and supporting implementing the methods anywhere. Things have gone a little bit awry, you know, brainstorming and heart storming around solutions so that you can get the needle moving in the right direction. And we do the Helix method and Akashic record activations together as well um, once a month, because this is absolutely key to have the energetic support as, as well as the the strategy and this is a huge bonus we promote you to our community so we invite you onto our podcast and we promote you to our email list which is over nine thousand people which is just priceless so so excited for those of you uh, are feeling called to come and join us in ipc we would love to have you and i'd love you to have the business success that you desire and to make the impact that you desire in the world as well i'd love to help you so just reach out to me and let me know you like the info and i'll pop the info over to you I always ask a couple of questions. So just expect to have a little chat with me in Messenger as I want to get to know your business, what you're up to. And then when I know that I can help you, uh, then I'll send over the information so that you know that I'm like sharing it with you and I know that I can help you and um, it's a fit. And um, then we can go from there. All right. And if you know that you want both IPC and the Wealth Portal, then let me know because we've got the Prosperity Bundle and uh, you'll have some savings with, with, with that bundle. So I can't wait to activate your next level and see what gets calibrated for you. So let me know if there's any questions about those two programs um, and then we'll go for there. So, yes, the Wealth Portal, come into the Wealth Portal. It will work best for you if you've got your business, you've already got your business set up um, and uh, you've got ways that money can come to you. Um, and then um, we can take them there. We have had people come into the Wealth Portal that have, um, had jobs and have had all transitioning from jobs into their business and so they've attracted like Ruth attracted a pay rise and reducing her hours while she was in the wealth portal I'm just trying to remember what 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 she attracted um then we had um oh yes that was amazing so Anka attracted uh changing she came into the wealth portal she was leaving social services and starting her own business it gave her the confidence to um, start her own business and having that guidance in terms of raising her her frequency and changing her identity as she was leaving in, in, in employment and setting up her business if that makes sense hi Ruth welcome so I hope that hope that helps in thinking about it if you're not sure just message me and we can have a chat and then we've got our certification programs so in the helix method where you'll master energy psychology you'll have a complete toolkit and framework that you can use with your own clients my clients my intention is you can start to use it within 60 days or less so you can rapidly create change in your clients add this as a service to your business and increase your monthly re revenue so this is for you if you want to help your clients with energetics energy alignment and manifesting so that they have quantum leaps in life um, we've got some clients who have come to take this just for themselves, so for personal use. Um, and then they found themselves stepping into offering it as a service. Um, and I don't know if she's here, but I'm having a little smile because you know who you are. Um, and so that's so exciting to see the unfolding. So if you're feeling uh, thinking, oh, I want to do the Helix Method just for, just for me, you can. But don't be surprised if you suddenly decide that you want to offer it as a service because that might happen. Um, so this is so exciting. So just imagine the excitement that your clients will have when they're working with you in this way and how many referrals that you'll receive as, 
they start to recommend you to others as well. So I'm so excited to share this with you. And we, we do go deep, just to speak to this for a moment, you will be trauma informed so you can support your clients within your professional capacity and boundaries, of course. You'll be able to tap into my wisdom as you're working with your clients so that you are fully supported and you know that you can handle anything energetic that your clients bring. Our current um, training mentors are working with some complex health and emotional trauma with their clients and they have my supervision and guidance and oversight to support them so that they can feel more confident in the Helix method and using the techniques and we teach you know being able to really because this will amplify your intuition and I always say go with your intuition you allow your higher self to lead so you have the tools and techniques so you know which ones to be to be using and then following your intuition as you're working working with your clients and your intuition is just going to go through the roof with the work that you're doing together so this is so exciting and there's a huge demand for energy healers and law of attraction coaches and manifesting experts right now i'm sure you've seen that as well that the collective is ready so we need to get more and more of us trained up so that we can you know be highly skilled and offer people a great service um so with the helix method as well for those of you who are thinking of it when you register for the helix method you automatically receive the license to deliver free programs upon your certification with your within your business and the programs are already created for you so you can just deliver them straight away straight out of the box as it were or add them to your offerings and uh, you're also eligible to join the international practitioners of holistic medicine and all the perks that they offer as well which is super exciting and when you join we'll get you set up with immediate access to the membership site facebook group and i'll guide you to focus on our digital content in level one so for those of you joining us now, you'll be coming in straight to join the live calls for level two, which starts on the 1st of June. So I will guide you with what to focus on in level one in the coming weeks. And you also receive support for a whole year from me as well. So I take you through the program twice because it's so important to me, because the second time you come round and any of the Helix Method mentors, let us know in the comments, because it's truly is the benefit of going through twice is you're a different person when you go through it the second time round um, within that year. Um, because you'll hear different things you're at a different frequency you get more confidence as you um, embody it so you get an opportunity to run through all the different practice sessions that we have during during our time together and I provide you with live demonstrations working with clients in the program so you get to see me working um, there's always lots of volunteers say so I'll be your volunteer um, and I encourage you to partner up to practice with people as well so that you meet amazing people doing this work and lots of like-minded like-minded friends along the way as well um what about a client who's come from a lot of trauma from an evil family absolutely yeah and certainly with that I would be wanting to ask lots of questions in relation to that to be able to guide and advise on what would be most appropriate for how to help somebody deal with the impact of that trauma on their field and all the other things that are energetically going on um so yeah I hope that helps Kate so you'll be coming straight in for those of you joining us now, been guided to, to offer it in this in this way. Um, and so excited to see who who's stepping forward for this. So level two starts on the 1st of June um, and uh, you, you'll come in and have immediate access to, to level one. And we'll have a, a kickoff call to um, get you up to speed and then stepping into level two. And so you, then you receive the full support for a year. So you'll get to go around level two twice and level one um, twice as well. So just DM me, let me know that you're interested and in considering this for yourself and your business, and then we'll take it there and get all the all the juicy details over to it. Sam, you would absolutely love it. I can see Sam saying, sounds incredible. It is incredible. This is my life's work. So I'm very blessed to have um, been guided to, to share this in this way. And this came from, so the Helix Method was born out of the Akashic Records. And uh, so the, which leads me nicely onto the Akashic Records. So the Akashic Records, this is where you learn how to channel the Akashic Records and facilitate readings. This is a miracle rich three level training. So it's designed to teach you how to um, channel the Akashic Records for yourself and for others. And with the Akashic Records, there's three levels and you can take them separately. Uh, level one, level two, level three. The Helix Method is is a program in itself. So when you come into the Helix Method, you're coming into the Helix Method. So I talk about level one and level two, but you come in to do the whole package, if that makes sense. So the Akashic Records is different. So you can come in and just do level one. 
uh, which is reading for yourself, where you're learning about the power of the Akashic Records, the infinite nature of your soul, being able to align yourself to your soul's purpose, accelerate your soul mastery and so much more. Um, and then if you know you feel called to, to join us to read the records for others in a channel the Akashic Records for others, then you complete all three levels. And how we do this is as soon as you say yes, you receive instant access to what we're calling the Akashic Records on Demand digital program. So this is for um, this will be for your chosen levels. And so this is a um, recording of our most recent live training. And so you get to tap into that and receive the energies and start to, to dive into the content uh, on your own. And you receive instant access to our private Facebook group. So you can dive into the recordings prior to your live experience. You will be invited to, to come to the training for, you know, and experience it live. You'll be able to network and find practice partners in the community as well. So you'll receive 12 months of live support and access to me in our private Facebook community uh, to support you. So whilst you're tuning into the digital recordings, you've got that support from me, get any questions answered, and then you get to join us for the live immersions and calls that we have during our 12 months together. Um, you know, and if you can't attend the live trainings, that's no worries. You just tune into the recordings and you receive the receive the same energies. In terms of our next live immersions, um, our next live immersions are for level one is in October. We've actually we've got level three next week. Um, so level three next week, level one in October, level two in November and level three in December. <laughs> Somebody asked me about the dates next year. So I haven't got that far ahead yet. Um, but so there's plenty of time to get your your dates in the in the diary for for our live events. So just reach out to me in DMs and uh, let me know that you're interested in, in doing these, um, you know, right now. And uh, we'll get the info over to you for the Helix Method and the Gashit Records. And if you want to do both and you want to benefit from, you know, some savings and get our certification bundle, you want to do both this year, then just let me know. We'll have a chat and I'll let you know what that looks like in Messenger. And then share the information with you. You can have a read through whilst you're in your own energy and then just circle back so that we close that energetic loop and let me know that you're in out or if you've got a question and we'll take it from there and as I said we accept both USD now so I hope that is supportive to you if you are internationally based and we have British pounds we can accept as well so you have a choice Alrighty, and if you're unsure of your next steps I just really invite you to get nice and connected connect in with your higher self through our invocation and breath work and just ask, you know, what is my best next step? And listen, you know, where do I need to focus my energy and business right now from an expansive place? Think what is your biggest priority right now? Focus your energy there because that's where you're going to get your best return on investment. And if you're looking for ideas for third party funding for your business and your investments, then just let me know when we're chatting and I can share some options that some of our clients have used, of course, whatever is aligned for you. I'm very happy to chat in Messenger to help you make a, an aligned decision either way. Alrighty, I think that is everything. I invite you to check out your check out the client spotlight so you can see how our clients have leaned in and took action. We've got a what our clients say thread, so you can see some comments there and what's changed as a result. Any questions that have bubbled up whilst I've been sharing this, then do pop them in the uh, comment section or in the chat. I'll circle back. And if you aren't sure what's the best fit, then we'll have a chat in, in Messenger and take it from there. I think that's everything. I hope I've answered everyone's questions. Of course, you're catching the replay, pop your questions there and I will circle back and answer them as well. Alrighty. As we're wrapping up our our segment from this week, I'd love to know how are you going to apply what you've learned this week in your life and in your business and what's been your biggest takeaway and how are you feeling on a scale of one to 10 in terms of alignment with your intention? Pop in the comments. And I'm also going to do a draw for three names for the future progression in the Akashic Records. This is a digital activation that list, that you can listen to and it builds on the one that you received this week that we did live together. Oh, we've got lots of tens. This is awesome. Okay. Alrighty. Feeling a 10, feeling a 10. Fantastic. 
Okay. So, feeling more aligned. Awesome, awesome. Okay. We have the winners of. Yes. <laughs> yes. Loving seeing your comments coming in. Okay. This is so exciting. So, the winners are. So this is for the three future progression in the Akashic Records. Um, that, so we're going to give three names. It's a digital activation that you can listen to that builds on the one that we did this week together. Yes, 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 yes. Alrighty, okay. So, drum roll. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has shared, shared on socials, shared, invited their friends contributed to each other sharing all your actions and your wins <laughs> yeah Shannon's doing a drum roll drum roll dun, 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 dun. okay so the first winner is Elonka BD Elonka congratulations <laughs> so I'm laughing at all the emojis that are coming in as I'm building the suspense I love it I love it okay and then the second one is da -da 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 drum roll. Graham Johnson. Graham, congratulations. So excited for you. And then the third one is drum roll. <laughs> Ruth Bond. Congratulations, Ruth. So excited for you. So what we will do is the team will get in touch and give you access to this and we'll get it popped over to you. If you have won it or purchased it before, I don't know if you've won it before, Graham, actually thinking about this, but if you have, then we'll allow you to gift it to, to somebody else to pay it forward. Um, share, share the love. Um, but yeah, let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out in, in chat. But congratulations, everybody. You're welcome, Ruth. You're welcome. And then next Friday, we're going to do a draw for those of you who've kindly completed our survey and I'll pop in and close our energetic vortex and, and do the draw as well. So your name will go into the draw to do to in a private one to one with me. And we'll pop the survey link in the group as well, um, in case you haven't found it. Alrighty, I hope that this has served you. Keep the momentum flowing. You are supported by Energetically by our Vortex. Dive into the replays again. Receive the activations again. Highly recommend as you're going to sleep. Why am I surrounded by love and money? Why do large sums of money come to me so easily? Making it a habit as you're waking up in the morning. I've just now received over 20,000 or whatever the amount is for you. How do you feel? I feel excited. I feel so happy. I feel grateful. All the things. Post in the Facebook group with Daily Wins. Every time you do this, we witness you, we celebrate you, stay accountable. Our vortex is staying open until the 21st of May. So you've got some spaciousness to, to revisit the content and then we will close the vortex and pop down the um, Facebook group as well. And a huge welcome to everyone who is continuing with us. I cannot wait. I'm so excited and honoured to be doing this together. Thank you so much for joining us for this week, for all of your energy. Have a fabulous weekend and uh, let's stay connected. And for those of you that are joining us on the replay, I will circle back and keep answering your questions so you are fully supported. Lots and lots of love, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.